This video is going to cover a few things on the ZT610R printer, RFID. If we're not seeing optimal performance, we're going to take a look at a few of the settings and configurations, as well as if you take a look at the link in the video below, here is a page you can go to for the scheduling of maintenance and cleaning of the printer. First thing is you want to make sure this little error, this little guide here is up against the label. So we're going to move it in with this yellow knob to where it's not tight, just to where it can't really be shaken. That's the first thing, make sure it's feeding correctly. When we close the print head, we want to make sure these tensions on the print head are right in the middle of both. I'm going to make sure that they're not moving back and forth and that they're set. Part you may check is the pressure on the print head and we're going to move this to where it's a little bit in the orange. The top screw goes clockwise. Well, they both go clockwise but to tighten it so after you've tightened the bottom, you can tighten the top. So we figured sometimes we've seen about 10 threads from the top. You may or may not need to adjust these, but this is something you can uh, look at as well uh, and try. The other piece you want to make sure is that that media sensor, that little green light, is set to the center. And that's done from this wheel right here. So as we turn the wheel, we'll see it move over. And we'll put it in the center of the media. So this will determine where the gaps are. Another item to check take the media out, this platen roller should be clean. If it's not, you can use isophoric alcohol and a tissue to wipe it off. It should feel slightly sticky to the touch. So clean, you can turn it with your hand, clean, turn it with your hand. Okay, that, what, that is what draws the labels through the printer. So with the labels in, I close the print head and I turn it off pause, you should get three labels fed and it should end up right at the print bar. Make sure that the path of the labels goes under here between these and then when the print heads open right there we'll close the print head. There's nothing on these, sometimes you'll see them move so make sure the path of the labels is good. And that the labels are pushed all the way to the inside of the printer. As a last step, if you feel the need to, you can RFID calibrate the printer to work with the labels installed. This is not something that is done on a regular basis when using the same media. We're going to go through the menu. Settings, hit the home button, settings, over to RFID, say OK. RFID status is OK. So RFID calibrate, what we're going to do is we're going to take this first label off, off of the printer, and then we'll come here, RFID calibrate, we'll press this button to start. And this will go through a series of steps and then in the end we'll just validate. The labels will be taken back and then be pushed out. This process will probably take about four to five minutes but you need to let it run and not touch it. After it slowly went in you can watch it slowly come outbound. OK, 
Okay, after the label finishes, it'll just feed one, or the feed that first one. And then we need to make a change in the RFID setting. So what it did is a calibration of the label. But what we're gonna change is the power. And this is only for this use case, only for this size. Uh, other customers you may find it to be different but in this case we are going to change the power to the power menu and this will get changed to 30 Let's say okay the right power with this will get changed to 30 as well say okay say home okay if we want to validate RFID OK, did calibrate, don't need a test, program position, antenna, power and power, okay?